What we do is we perform music that was written by victims of the Holocaust. So most of this music is quite unknown and the idea is to spread it around and to make it part of the mainstream repertoire um, for, for all the audiences. Um, now, um, what's happening this year in Newcastle and Gateshead? So we have four main events of the festival. The first event is on the 29th on Sunday and uh, that day is dedicated, it's a concert uh, with a pre-concert talk and it's dedicated to uh, music that was written by composers who reacted to the Holocaust. So um, the music they wrote is has a, a history behind it, has a story to tell. Um, just a, one little spe a special story. Uh, one of the pieces was commissioned uh, by uh, the viola player uh, Krzysztof Koretsky and uh, his grandmother uh, uh, perished in Warsaw Ghetto and um, she managed to snuggle out her daughter uh, from the ghetto when she was three years old and that's why Krzysztof is alive and um, he basically commissioned this piece in memory of his grandmother Marisha. Um, so that's just one of the pieces that will be performed um, in this concert. Then on Monday, uh, that's the 29th, um, there will be um, a movie, uh, it's a documentary about uh, Susanna. Uh, the, the documentary is called Susanna Music is Life. And uh, it's basically a fantastic documentary. I really recommend it. Unfortunately, it's a, just a one-off showing mm -hmm. and the movie is being shipped off to the next showing in Chicago the next day. So um, it's basically about this um, uh, harpsichord player. She became famous after surviving four concentration camps in her teenager years and then facing uh, communism in Czechoslovakia. Um, anyway, it's not to be missed, really. Um, and then, um, later in the week, on the 3rd of February, um, the little snippet that you would have heard, the, little, the quartet, is by Victor Ullmann. So this event is an afternoon event which will take place at the Shipley Art Gallery. And um, it's dedicated to Victor Ullmann. Victor Ullmann um, perished in Auschwitz. Um, but before that, he spent a, a few years in Terezin concentration camp. And he... Um, wrote lots of music there, of course, as a composer, but also he wrote uh, an incredible diary of poetry. Um, and this poetry uh, will be also performed during this event. So the music, we have chosen some very beautiful pieces, will be interspersed with the poetry that we've chosen. And that will be performed by members of the Royal Symphonia and um, Philip Harrison will be reading, he will be sort of enacting yeah. the um, um, Victor Ullmann himself. And then the final concert will be taking this place in this marvelous stage that we're so lucky to have in Hall 2 and it will be by the fantastic Aviv Quartet. It's an Israeli quartet and it's their first time in Newcastle and they will be performing an amazing program of masterpieces including Schubert, Death and the Maiden, also not to be missed. Um, I just want to mention very quickly um, that this festival is basically exist and is very grateful to the support of Newcastle City Council, the James Knott Foundation and the Israeli Embassy who have given us grants for this festival to take place this year and also to our wonderful audiences and friends and patrons of the festival um, who have been incredible this year and um, you know we, we basically are able to put this festival together thanks to all these people so very big thank you. So may I ask What's it like to perform this music when, when you know where it's come from? It, it must be quite affecting. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think it always makes a huge difference when you know the history of the piece. It, it gives you a background so you're able to put your, well, imagine or put yourself in the place. And yeah, it, it makes a huge difference, absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.